evening everyone welcome back this is of course your host light here as always and today we're going to be doing a bit of a deep dive into the dimension ecosystem we're going to be touching upon a lot of the already announced airdrops for dim stakers but we are also going to be touching upon a lot of the speculative stuff as well so let's get started without further ado with the question that a lot of people are probably going to be asking in the comments which is is it too late to stake dim tokens and the answer is it is not too late yes you're probably not going to be getting all the drops which are going to be mentioned in this video if you stake now but probably going to be eligible for most of them at least and the ones that we're going to be happening in the future too so let's kind of get started by talking about a bit of the technology and kind of the whole cruxes of Dimension is the roll apps a lot of people are building a lot of things top of the roll apps technology and there is already like a test net. We're not going to be going into these entries in this video because they are test net, highly speculative. And obviously we don't know. There hasn't really been that many test net based drops in the IBC ecosystem, which is one of the reasonings I don't really find them that of a high priority. But if you don't have any money to stake your DIM, these are definitely some things you want to basically explore. The ones that have, you know, their own website, like Conan, for example, might be something interesting. We got all stake here, which is already like existing product, but there might be something, you know, hidden gems here in the mix, which might be interesting. But one of the things we obviously have to talk about first is staking and voting. So there is a governance voting going on right now, and I recommend everybody to basically go vote on these. Sometimes voting in a certain way might yield you rewards. This has happened a couple of times with Adam, for instance. And this is very rare though, but being part of the governance might get you extra points. So I always recommend participating on these things whenever they're gonna be popping out on any IBC chain. So the first thing we have here is obviously staking. And a lot of the tokens are currently staked. I think the bonded amount is the staked amount. And that is 57% of the supply is staked right now. And I think there's a large amount of the supply also, which is not circulating as of right now, which is vested. So we have a lot of vested tokens here. So right now we are not at the all time high, but we are kind of close to the high, I believe. I think we were at $6. I think that was the all time high. Could be wrong about it. But when I see these stake drops, guys, I don't really pay attention too much on the current price because I think the airdrops will pay me the losses because I'm probably going to be unstaking a lot of these IBC coins during close to the beer market. So I'm not going to be selling any of these at the all time high, but the airdrops that I get basically will compensate me quite a lot more from the potential losses. Just something to think about in general. So let's start with the staking candidates here. So I have obviously Prism here. And I think we touched upon this already on a couple of things. They have now registration phase. So in case you have done Prism as your delegate on any of these chains, Cosmos, Osmosis, Terra, Celestia, Dimension, or Injective, you are going to be basically eligible for the airdrop. And and now you, can, you must register for this one. This is not going to be given out to the people who don't register for this airdrop. I think 20% of the accounts have it registered so far. This is not going to be super huge drop, but I think it's going to be something. And the time the snapshot has been taken for this one. So what are the other ones that we should pay attention to now that the Prism airdrop has happened? Maybe it's not so wise to basically stake into them. And that is correct, in my opinion, to view these things. One of the things we always talk about is do not take something that is taking like 25% commission. That's huge. I would not really recommend doing something of five or 10% max. And also do not delegate to exchanges. That will exclude you from a lot of drops. And also they are never gonna be dropping anytime anyways. So there's a couple of things that I was able to quickly look on here that showed uh, some promise. We have Doom with Whiff Hat. Could that be a meme coin? Who knows? We got a couple of things when you actually put in stake stake drop we have a couple of entries here actually no it was a stake so we have auto stake this is an auto staking service so it's compounding your things that's a good option we have stuv which is also doing restaking and there we go post human is also having a stake drop so that's another candidate you might want to consider and one of the more interesting ones which nobody probably has mentioned in any video whatsoever regarding this is the actual partnership with 
budgie penguins. Now, budgie penguins are going to be having a lot of drops, even in dim. There's actually one that they're going to be getting. So I've been telling a lot of people to basically buy one. We're going to be buying one through Multisig any day now. So I'm actually very excited about that. So the Igloo company is the company behind the 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 Pudgy Penguins. So it's a brand and there has been heavy speculation on Pudgy Penguins releasing their own token and that is why I think the delegators the Pudgy Penguin holders are going to be getting the tokens and their all the micro projects that they have under them. But I also do believe that dim stakers on the Igloo company are going to be getting a portion of that airdrop as well. This is a gamble, but and I haven't been able to 100% verify that this is a real one, but the idea that somebody's impersonating them on the chain and has this much delegated to them sounds kind of crazy to me. So this is one of the things I'm probably going to be moving all my dim to. I'm restaking to Igloo on X because I'm so bullish on it. Then we obviously have four bowl and Swiss staking. I believe they are also doing some types of own token rewards for them and there isn't really anything else specific. I know the Knuckle Turk had roll-up dab that was on the list that we previously looked at. So that's another one that could be one. Bad Kids, I don't own one, but as far as I remember, they do not have their own token. So none of these blue chip NFT projects are releasing their own tokens. We have imaginary ones. We have Azuki coming out. This is the new meta. And that's why I'm believing that Bad Kids is also another good opportunity because they might be doing an airdrop of their own, of their token, to the bad kids holders and the people who are using their delegate. So that's something to you really want to consider. And there isn't really anything else here on the list that really has picked out my eye. Nodes grew, not really. Yeah, I think that's it. So those are some good options that you should go for. You obviously can stake to the multiple different delegates. And sometimes there might be minimum staking delegates to get certain airdrops, but usually they look at your all, de all delegation, not just one. So something to think about also. So let's kind of continue what other things we have here. We have the NIM roll drop. So if you have been staking your DIM, you are going to be available for this drop in two days. So that's going to be on day after we have the warm hurl L drop, which a lot of people are excited about. And NIM airdrop, I don't know how valuable this is going to be. And it's also interesting that they call it the roll drop, meaning that there might be some airdrops coming along, but those are probably adjacent to DIM. So there might be some airdrops coming from NIM later, but they're not related to DIM. So this snapshot has already been taken, just reminding you guys to basically claim it. Some other things that are coming out is the Crow Network. This is going to come to DIM stakers. Pudgy Penguins, as I said just a minute ago, we have Mad Lads, another blue chip that has been getting a lot of NFTs, and Dub, which I have no idea what that is. And so, so there's going to be a lot of drops coming from the Crown Network in the dimension. And it needs to be understood that this post was made on March 30th, which kind of includes that this is not coming anytime soon. So there's definitely probably time before the snapshot is going to, hap going to be happening for the Crown Network. So th that's a one. Then we have Warden Protocol. This is going to be coming for Tia, Dim, Adam, and QRD. And this is already, let me actually see my deposit. Let me show my Dim here and let's see how um, that should be available. But here you can basically check. This has been taken already, but another one to basically pay attention to when the actual airdrop is going to be happening. You might be able to also paste in your Cosmos address. Let me actually see that if that's bugging out as well. Let's go with Cosmos and... Okay, it doesn't have an allocation. That's interesting. I have to look into this more, but this is another one that's going to be happening soon. Then we have Dogmon, which I believe is going to be the first meme coin on Dimension. Not a lot of news or posts. They've just been retweeting shit, mostly. And it seems like they are going to be airdropping to obviously Dim Stakers. And I do believe they're going to be also giving to Hua Hua, which is the first meme coin kind of on the IBC. And... Okay, this is this is by Chia Hua. Okay, 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 I didn't know that. Well, now I know. So Hua Hua stakers are gonna be getting portion of these tokens. So that's pretty cool. So that's something to also think about. So the criteria is probably gonna be dimension staking and Hua Hua staking. Snapshot probably not taken yet. 
Then we have probably one of the most interesting things here. We have Rivals, and this is a deep end, which is a very hot thing right now, and it's powered by Celestia and built on Dimension. Very exciting. They're gonna be having a node sale. I am still working on that node video, guys. Hopefully it's coming out soon. And this is going to be also distributed partially to Dim Stakers. The snapshot has been taken far as I know. The risk token, tokenomics have been already announced, but there's still time to get into the Z node sale, which is gonna be happening in quarter two. So I'm actually excited about that and I'm buying one of those. Moving on, we have Aegisos. I'm not sure if I'm actually pronouncing that right. And this is a roll up dev build on dimension. And this is also gonna be dropping the dim stakers according to the intel that we have. Whatever the snapshot is taken remains to be seen. I think not yet. So another one that you can still uh, get into as of this right now. And this is probably gonna be a mid-tier style airdrop. I don't really have super high expectations out of it, but let's see how it's basically gonna be coming out. And this is probably gonna be dropping in quarter one. Moving on, we have Nebula Finance, and this is probably gonna be launching in day or two after this video is coming out because they have been literally like teasing about the, this platform. This is gonna be liquid staking for Dimension. Just like I talked about on the last video, liquid staking is a very big priority right now. And you wanna participate on that, whatever it's true on Milk Tea or Stride or wh whatever protocols don't that don't have tokens that are doing some type of liquid staking it's definitely worth interacting with. And I have to think about how I'm gonna be getting more dim without unstaking and put it into Nebula. But I'm actually very excited about this and this is gonna be launching in a couple of days. And I don't think they're gonna be giving out money to dim stakers, only to the people who are gonna be using their protocol and converting their dim into to the N dim. And then we have our last entry on this list called Sputnik which are gonna be also dropping to dim stakers. I don't know, it is called the token signal here and this is gonna be the supply, the initial release and the token distribution is here. So stake drop is gonna be 30%. And let's see if we can actually find the snapshot, Cosmos, ecosystem, now there doesn't need to be any date here, but we know that it's gonna be dim Dimension is on the list and this seemingly doesn't have any dates here. So I assume it's not taken yet, but I could be wrong about now. But here, here we have the, the networks. Dimension is here, Cyber, Cosmos, Akash, Humans, AI, Injective, Juno, Omniflix, Persistence, Secret, and Source Protocol. But that's basically what we have to cover here today. I just didn't have the time to research. There's so much hectic stuff going on right now, but some of these testnet stuffs might be worth looking into. And there isn't any, like, there's gonna be a lot of these roll-up projects coming out on the chain, which means that there's gonna be a healthy amount of upcoming airdrops coming a lot more in volume. And I think this might become like bigger than Celestia in that sense, that there's gonna be a lot more stuff going on on here versus Celestia, because a lot of people are gonna be deploying their rollups. But whatever these rollups are gonna become de facto thing and people are gonna be migrating from some other service remains to be seen. But uh, there's a lot of potential in the technology and the idea behind it because the fees on Ethereum are kind of high and opting to Dimension is just gonna be a lot more cheaper. But I'm not gonna make this video any longer. Thanks for watching. I will be seeing you in the next video when it will be dropping out. Until then, cheers.